गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अंकुर एंड वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माई चैनल बायोमेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फोटोसिंथेसिस तो कंटिन्यूंग विद द सेम टॉपिक इन दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट वन ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड आई जस्ट मेक अ गो फॉर अ क्विक रिकैप that the different types of historical events which takes place in the research and in the development of uh, plant botany mean uh, plant physiology okay so we have discussed about different different types of scientists they have give or they have approached for different types of theories different types of perspectives regarding the photosynthetic processes regarding the different types of photosystems okay then we have studied about the van neel experiments flash like ex- experiment then immersion in arnold then we have discussed about uh, rubin and karen uh, uh, radioactive uh, non radioactive uh, highway isotope of oxygen we have taken okay to predict that water give rise to oxygen gas water gets oxidized to form oxygen gas now today i will be discussing about the second sub topic of that part one and that is what the pigment molecules or the pigment system what exactly the pigment system is the very first point i want to discuss that in general the total sunlight the total sunlight which is required for the formation of food plants are able to fix only few percentage mean minute percentage a negligible amount of that sunlight into food rest all sunlight is irradiated in the form of heat and convection currents okay so the green plants whether we talk about green plants whether we talk about terrestrial plants whether we talk about aquatic plants the main feeders the main feeders are aquatic feeders okay but right now we are having uh, because of the recent statistical data the terrestrial plants they are too performing photosynthesis up to a very great extent up to a very larger extent that is about 68% of the photosynthesis the 68% of co2 fixation is done by terrestrial plants now coming to the topic in general the most important the universal pigment the universal photosynthetic pigment is what chlorophyll a it is found in each and every species depending upon the ratio of chlorophyll a with chlorophyll b and other carotenoids we are having two types of photosystem when we talk about higher plants the photosystem 2 the photosystem 1 the universal pigment of all these photosystems these both photosystem is what chlorophyll a but in case of chlorof- uh, photosystem 2 dhyan dijiyega is pe in case of photosystem 2 carotenoids they are more in comparison to photosystem 1 carotenoids are more in comparison to photosystem 1 in photosystem 1 chlorophyll a and in photosystem 2 chlorophyll a is basically the reaction center we can say the reaction center or the universal photosynthetic pigment the other pigments like carotenes like xanthophylls like phycobilins they all are accessory plant pigments a very common question comes up, comes regarding the difference between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b chlorophyll a having a formula c55h72o5n4mg having a molecular weight 893 and this chlorophyll a is more soluble it is more soluble in petroleum ether mean organic salt then coming to chlorophyll b c55 h70 o6 n4 mg this is the formula the molecular mass is 907 the molecular mass is 907 and it is more soluble in methyl alcohol I mean it is more soluble in absolute alcohol 92% of methyl alcohol so the basic difference between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b is see what exactly the chlorophyll molecule looks like first i want to give you 
a brief description regarding that chlorophyll is a metalloprotein it is a metallic protein metalloprotein and in this metalloprotein magnesium is a metal magnesium it surrounds by porphyrin rings and these porphyrin rings basically have phytol rings and pyrrol rings mean the magnesium is at center and we are having porphyrin rings mean it is magnesium porphyrin structure chlorophyll kya hai usme magnesium hota hai central central and porphyrin it surrounds magnesium and this porphyrin is further divided into what pyrrol rings and phytol phytol is a long hydrocarbon chain or made up of alcohol residue or made up of carboxylic acid residue and basically phytol is I mean phytol all you know alcohol so it is a water hating residue mean it is hydrophobic part and the pyrrol is hydrophilic part having different types of carbon atoms attached with different types of moieties moieties means different types of groups like for example if we discuss about a general structure of chlorophyll a the main difference between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b is on the third carbon chlorophyll b is having aldehyde group cho group and on the third carbon chlorophyll a is having what methyl group generally chlorophyll a carbon number 1 3 5 8 they are having methyl groups okay carbon number 1 3 5 8 they are having methyl groups carbon number 2 vinyl group carbon number 4 ethyl group carbon number 4 is ethyl group carbon number 6 is attached to methene bridges these all I mean these methene bridges are all over generally distributed over whole of the structure okay methene bridges methene groups by fifth isocyclic cyclopentanol mean we are having five rings one ring two ring three ring four ring and five ring okay so carbon number 1 3 5 8 methyl group carbon number 2 vinyl group carbon number 4 ethyl group carbon number 6 is attached to methene bridges which is attached with the fifth isocyclic ring and this isocyclic ring is cyclopentanol okay then the fourth ring the seventh carbon of that fourth ring is attached with a phytol chain it is attached with a propionic acid residue to form a phytol end this phytol end is hydrophobic I mean in general what we have to learn that chlorophyll is having phytol it is having pyrrol the whole structure is known as porphyrin now there are two types of pigment molecules they are attached I mean they are grouped under two categories core molecules and antenna molecules the movement sunlight is captured by the molecules the first molecules which capture the sunlight they are basically the antenna molecules these antenna molecules they after gaining the light energy or the photons when the photons of the sunlight they strike with the electrons of these pigment molecules these pigment molecules get excited and as they are excited their excited electrons jumps to a higher energy level now the ground state the ground state of this chlorophyll molecule is known as singlet excited state then doublet excited state and triplet excited state singlet excited state is the ground state if the photon which is coming is having more energy than the energy which is possessed by that particular electron agar aane wale photon ki energy us particular pigment molecule mein baithe hue electron ki energy se zyada hai theek hai na to ye electron excite hoke higher energy level pe chala jayega aur us higher energy level ko hum bolenge kya doublet excited state aur agar aane wale photon ki energy if the incoming photon is having lesser energy then the threshold energy of that particular electron then it is known as triplet excited state like that okay so the electron jumps to a higher energy level 
विद अ ट्रांजिशन पीरियड ऑफ टेन टू पॉवर माइनस नाइन सेकेंड इलेक्ट्रॉन वहां पर केवल टेन टू पॉवर माइनस नाइन सेकेंड तक रहता है एंड देन इट कम्स बैक नाउ टेकिंग दिस टॉपिक टू फर्दर वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रेडिएशन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेवलेंस विच अफेक्ट द रेट ऑफ फोटो सी द विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रम which is involved for photosynthesis is having a wavelength range of 400 nanometers to 750 nanometers although we have different books and in those different books we are we are having different different types of statistical data okay but exactly some of the uh, good resources they suggest that this visible spectrum is known as photosynthetic active radiation par and it is having a wavelength range of 310 nanometers to 2600 nanometers 310 nanometers that is the ultraviolet region 2600 nanometers that is the infrared region Although the range of infrared radiations is up to ten thousand nanometers, but the photosynthetic active radiation is till here. above the range of seven hundred, seven twenty, or seven fifty, we are having far red region. Okay, and below the range of this four hundred, we are having what the ultraviolet region. Now, so between this wavelength range, we are having the visible spectrum that is Vibgyor. Now. what you have to learn that maximum photosynthesis is seen in red light the maximum photosynthesis is seen in red light as the green color is reflected back the least photosynthesis is seen in what green light okay the so most efficient and most effective most effective is blue light as well as red light so for photosynthesis if we want to increase the rate of photosynthesis we will give what blue light or red light okay in case of plants as we have studied in quant quantum in chapter 2 of chemistry that e is inversely proportional to wavelength e is equal to hc by lambda so as the energy increases the wavelength decreases as the energy decreases the wavelength increases mean as we increase or as we shift towards the far red region or the infrared region or the red region the wavelength is increasing but the energy is decreasing and as the wavelength is decreasing the energy is increasing the importance i will tell you later on okay now coming to the next in the same topic we are having two types of photosystems which are dependent on two types of wavelength the thylakoid membrane the appressed part and the non appressed part so photosystem 2 is basically located on the non appressed part of grinnell thylakoids and stromal thylakoids while the photosystem 1 is only located on the appressed part of grinnell thylakoid Photosystem two is having a reaction center. It is having a dimer molecule of chlorophyll a. Photosystem one is also having a dimer molecule of chlorophyll a, and this dimer molecule of chlorophyll a is p six eighty and p seven hundred. Mean the p s two molecules they are having a dimer molecule of p six eighty and p s one they are having a dimer molecule of chlorophyll sorry chlorophyll a p seven hundred. Okay, now. monochromatic single color polychromatic multiple color okay then you have to remember the immersion red drop experiment
ओके इन दिस इमर्शन रेड नॉट एक्सपेरिमेंट द ग्राफिकल स्टडी से इज दिस इज द रेट ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस एंड दिस इज द वेव लेंथ एज द कोर मॉलिक्यूल्स द एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स दे आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैरेटेनॉइड्स द रेंज ऑफ लाइट हार्वेस्टिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स टू एब्जॉर्व लाइट इंक्रीजेज मीन दे एब्जॉर्व डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेव लेंथ दैट इज द एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रा इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई मेड यू स्टडी एंड द लाइट विच दे आर यूजिंग टू परफॉर्म फोटो सिंथिस नोन एज वॉट एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रा ओके फ्रेंड्स तो द ग्राफ स्टडीज लाइक goes like that like that okay so this is beta carotene the type of carotenoids okay the so different different pigments they absorb different different wavelength to form or to reach the different different peaks of photosynthesis okay so we cannot give a single light of a single wavelength to get maximum amount of photosynthesis we have to give different wavelengths having particular colors to have maximum amount of photosynthesis so this immersion red drop experiment says that the moment we increase the wavelength the rate of photosynthesis increases but at the as the rate of photosynthesis increases all the electrons are excited to move towards core molecule to move towards reaction center and as the reaction center is excited as the reaction center is excited the electron then jumps to jumps to primary receptor molecule in case of ps2 the primary receptor molecule is pheophytin okay so the electron is already excited so according to the experiment if we go on increasing the wavelength of the light if we go on increasing the wavelength of the light apart from away from the I mean uh, in uh, red region if we go to far red region the rate of the photosynthesis it drops why drops because all the electrons are excited they haven't returned back so 10 to power minus 9 second is the transition phase it is the transition period when the electrons they have to return back to release the energy now this energy is released in the form of either heat or radiations now there are two types of illuminescence phosphorescence and phosphorescence and phosphorescence which includes that they absorb light but there is delayed emission of light okay okay they absorb light but there is delayed emission of light okay first 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 for instance it includes chemical luminescence and bioluminescence okay so friends this is the immersion red drop experiment i made you study in this uh, part uh, the difference between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b okay so i will be discussing with the more topics on the next video thank you friends bye bye